Hello and welcome to the Dog Breeds 101. Today we are going to talk about the most popular Scottish Terriers dog breed. Scottish Terriers History and Origin As the name suggests, it is accepted that the Scottish Terrier comes from Scotland were once known as Scotch or Scottish Terriers, which caused some confusion among modern breed enthusiasts. In fact, the modern version was originally classified as part of the Sky Terrier from the same name island. The first record of any terriers in Scotland was made in the last of the 18th century when the dogs were used as insect hunters. A reference for the Scottish is particularly difficult to find. He was published in Don Leslie's book Scottish History 1436-1561. Sir Joshua painted a girl with a dog like a Scottish terrier in 1636. Later experts agreed that by the end of the 18th century, there were two types of Scottish Terriers, the rough Scottish Terrier with thick hair and the plain British Terrier with straight hair. Appearance These dogs are strong and short-legged, and head and skull are longer and larger than other parts of the body. Their eyes are small-sized and arm in shaped. The front legs are larger, round in shape and lower than the hind legs. The tail is very thick at the beginning. He has a thicker coat to protect against the weather. Dogs of this breed keep their tail tight. With his thoroughly short legs, long neck, and minimal body, the breed is difficult to miss. The little Scotty has vertical straight ears, a moderate length tail, and a desolate appearance with astute darker eyes. Temperament Despite their size, the Scottish were trained to be bold and daring, and were used to resist predators like foxes and badgers friendly, but to some extent reserved for strangers. These are loyal family members who can become excellent pets for the family. These dogs may take time to feel comfortable with new people, but they are certainly warmly welcome to people they know. However, these dogs can sometimes be attracted to a particular member of their human family rather than being everyone's best friend. These dogs are known for their adventurous and skilled personality, and when faced with other dogs or pets, the breed becomes aggressive, so in this case, the owner must be attentive. These also like to dig holes in its yards and are likely to bark. It is said that he is brave, confident, keen, feudal, independent, fickle, and most importantly, alert. These dogs do a lot of things. They are courageous, patient, resistant, attractive, playful, full of personality, kind and very good guard dog. Scottish Terrier Exercise Needs Scottish Terriers breed are small dogs that can do most of the exercises while playing indoors. Catching things is one of his favorite hobbies, but these dogs like to hang out with their owner. These dogs are reared as insect hunters and they chase small animals. As a result, they should not be left without leases in unsafe areas. Scottish dogs can be better dogs for apartments, condos and smaller homes. Their energy is mostly used for walking and running. Catch, chase, and tug of war are generally amazing sports for this breed. Playing with them not only keeps them fit and strong but also makes them feel great. Scottish Terriers Training Needs They are sensitive to the right things. They will respond to your orders only when you are firm and confident. If you hesitate, they will ignore you. This dog can also challenge family members if any of the family members does not lead the family. The Scottish is an independent thinker, therefore, he is known for his autonomy and his forms of free life. It has a high energy level and needs to be absorbed. Therefore, Scottish dogs will require stability, patience, and tolerance of their owners, and this breed can be forceful with other animals, so early socialization is an absolute necessity. Scottish Terriers require obedience training if they are not taught to listen from its puppyhood, and they also try to hold leadership positions in the human family. Therefore, it is best for families to have better rules from the start, and they should constantly try to keep pets according to these standards, and obedience training should begin from early stage and then continue throughout Scotty's lifetime. As well as owners, remember that harsh treatment can cause Scottish Terriers to ignore the owner. Training based on praise and reward is a great method of training for dogs of this breed. In general, 
Dogs of this breed prefer cold weather. Scottish homeowners who live in warm climates should take some appropriate measures, such as providing adequate water and avoiding excessive heat while practicing pets. Scottish Terrier Grooming It may be time-consuming or challenging to groom the Scottish Terrier. This breed is not suitable for novices who have no experience in grooming. It is better for Scottish to be brushed and trimmed it regularly. Brushing and trimming help in removing dead hair and prevent skin from getting dirty. Doing this every two months helps them to maintain their unique shape. Their grooming should be at least two times weekly, and if you plan to show them then get a haircut from a professional. They need to bathe constantly, but they don't like it. Brushing his teeth weekly is mandatory. Those who do not plan to show their Scottish can trim their Scottish hair themselves. But other dogs need to take off their coats. This process helps to maintain the dog's coat and keep them looking good. Scottish Terrier dogs have a solid two-layer coating with an outer layer of approximately 2 inches, 5 centimeters, and a soft bottom inner layer. There is a wavy fur with thick hair, can be found on the dog's feet, beard and lower back. The external part of the Scottish Terrier coat should be cut off by hand. You'll have to do this week by week to keep it solid and prevent it from tangling. Also aiming for a trademark profile. The valuable colors for these dogs are dark black, completely white, black, dark gray, pale and wheaten. If you're not ready to strip it once a week, you can choose a short haircut to help keep the dog's coat stable. When cutting its hair, Scotty's natural texture may be lost. However, if you are not planning to show the spread, the texture does not matter much to you. Scotty also sometimes requires a bath with high-quality dog's shampoo. Height and Weight of Scottish Terrier Males and females' height of this breed remains somewhere in the range of 10 to 11 inches, 25 to 28 centimeters. Scottish Terriers usually weigh somewhere in the range of 18 to 23 pounds, 8 to 10 kilograms. Scottish Terrier's Best Food Smaller breeds require different nutrients than different breeds. The Scottish Terrier thrives on high-nutrient foods. Breeds like the Scottish Terrier, i.e. small breeds that require unpredictable doses, tend to grow unpredictably compared to larger breeds. Quality nutrients are always made up of real meat proteins, with the first few components listed. You must give your Scottish the same food that is specified for its weight, age, and working capacity. While snacks are incredible training tools, should note that their calories are usually very high and should be used with caution. Although they suffer from many health problems, mainly genetic factors, they do not require any special diet. Also, be sure to research any human food you give to your Scottish Terrier. Obviously, all dogs need fresh, clean water every day. Not every human nutrition is useful to your dog, and truth be told, some human food can harm them as well. Some experts recommend keeping a bowl full of water outside the courtyard, as well as in your Scotty's room. Scottish Terrier Health and Care List of the Scottish Terrier's health problems 1. Bladder stones 2. Cancers, like bladder cancer and brain cancer 3. Cataracts 4. Cushing's disease 5. Deafness 6. Hemophilia 7. Hypothyroidism 8. Neurological disorders 9. Progressive retinal atrophy 10. Von Willebrand's disease Experts advise owners not to let their pets get in touch with pesticides, herbicides and tobacco smoke. As this breed may be affected by hereditary infections, we recommend completing the health test ASAP. Likewise, remember that legitimate exercise and a healthy diet will assume a significant job in the strength of the Scottish, so make sure to meet his healthful needs. The first health testing in the Scottish Terrier breed helps you make sure you don't wind up with a pup that faces eventually exterminatory and costly diseases in the future. Caring for your Scottish Terrier Scottish Terrier dogs give an average of about 4 small dogs. Their real life cycle is up to 12 to 15 years even longer, but they are affected by many health problems. Cancer is an important health problem for this breed because, in many ways, 
Scottish Terrier breed having the risk of developing six unexpected malignant tumors than other purebred dogs. Owners should ensure that their dogs are getting a healthy diet and proper exercise to prevent problems that may occur later in their life. Other health problems with Scottish Terriers that they have a genetic tendency to acquire von Willebrand disease and cranial bone disease, delirium, tibial dislocation, and allergies disease. Scottish Terriers are easy to care for as long as proper training is provided. Dogs from this breed should exercise daily. All pets should brush their teeth frequently to avoid disease. Drugs that prevent heartworms, flea and mites are usually given monthly because these products help reduce the risk of pet parasites. They often cause eye problems, such as cataracts and glaucoma, itching and leg cramps, scotty cramps, as well as other health problems. About Scottish Terrier Puppies Since Scottish dogs are experiencing some basic health problems, it is essential to have reproductive quality in their selection. Rescue Breeders' prices are higher than shelter prices. However, another benefit of going through a shelter is that the shelter usually pays the initial veterinary fees. Adoption fees can range from $50 to $100. And remember that you can succeed and fail to find a Scottish Terrier puppy in a shelter, so you may have to be patient. Scottish Terrier Puppies Breed Quality and Average Price The average price of a Scottish Terrier puppy usually depends on the merits of the parents of the breed. If you would prefer to buy a Scotty puppy from any breeder, it can cost you something in between $600 to $1,200. However, one advantage of selecting breeders is that most respected breeders have evaluated the health of its litters and can provide a certificate. In addition, you will have the choice to ask any question about the health and temperament problems of litters and previous parents. Does not matter where you go to get your Scottish puppy, be sure to pass on the source of your trust. Thank you for watching this video. Comment if you have experiences with the Scottish Terrier dog breed. Also like if you enjoyed the video, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos, and hit the bell icon to get the notification. Let's see you in the next video.